Hey guys, Coach Hunter coming at you with Dylan helping me out today. Today we're going to be talking about lead hand attacks. So in the last video we were working on a rear hand defense. What's really nice about that is that it is universal, it works boxing, kickboxing, MMA. It also allows our lead hand to play a little bit. Once your rear hand defense is confident and on point, it allows my lead hand to be a good opener and kind of probing attack, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get what I mean by that. So sometimes we have reactionary kind of things. My partner throws something at me, I'm gonna react and attack off of that. But we also have to have proactive planned attacks. That is to say, all right, we're here at a range or outside of range, I'm gonna have to come in with something. And most often it's our lead hand, okay? Um, so let's run through some of those options. And there's a pretty simple, uh, starting off with my jab, okay? The most common lead hand entry. Okay, coming in with my jab, okay? So I'm just stepping in, testing the water with my jab, okay? I can hit, I can double that up with a double jab, right? I'm keeping the footwork pretty simple, but we could move in any direction with the jab, okay? Lead to my lead hand side and my rear hand side. So just understand that normally, I, I usually like to cut an angle, but sometimes you can come straight into, it's totally fine. So that's what I'll be doing for this demo. So we had the jab, the double jab. We also have our lead hook. Just kind of throwing it more like not as a power shot, but as an entry, okay? We could double that up with our lead hook. And we can also throw a jab and then a lead hook. It's a one, three, okay? And generally what I'm doing is I'm coming in, I'm kind of seeing what his reaction is. If he, if he just kind of like defends, often I feel comfortable, now I'm gonna go into my power shot, which today is gonna be uh, represented by the, the cross or the two. So I come in with my one, hit the two. Boom, I feel comfortable, I can launch that. And that could be anything with the power shot, okay? Uh, it could be a lead hand power shot too, or as well, I should say. Um, so I can come in with a double jab, boom, 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 with the one, one, two. I can come in with the lead hook, and then the two, okay? I come in with a double lead hook, and the two, or whatever, my power shot. I can come in with a jab, and then the lead hook, and then the two, okay? So just kind of like, as I come in, I'm feeling good, so, so continue the exchange, the uh, combination with power. However, what's nice about this as well is that my rear hand is there, my eyes are open, I'm paying attention to what my opponent's doing. So if I come in with like the jab and he counters off of that, uh, my rear hand is available, right? I come in with the lead hook, uh, and he like, yeah, counters off of that, my rear hand's available, okay? So it's really important that my re rear hand is there and I can always bail, because I can defend and get out or continue and counter off of their counter, right? So. It's really important. We're just gonna run through some of those options again. So without me uh, yammering on about it, going from the jab. Oh, don't worry about the counter. Double jab. Then with the counter, with the follow up. Oh, no, with the my follow. Oh, word. Thank you. So, guys, lead hand attacks are typically our the most common planned entry. Now, there's many, many other options, and it all comes down to style, preference, training, and that's what you've trained. Uh, but I think the most common approach is to come in with a lead hand attack most commonly a jab or two, and then following up after that, okay? So it's uh, a basic approach, but one you need to master, I think, in order to be consider yourself a competent striker. That said, many other options abound, and we cover them in time in this series. So guys, like this video and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see all of our content, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the mats.